In the statement, it was revealed that King Charles has been receiving treatment for cancer, but no further details were given regarding the type of cancer or the specific treatment he is undergoing. This news came as a shock to the public, as the king had been maintaining a busy schedule and appeared to be in good health. With her appearance at the musical evening at Salisbury Cathedral, Queen Camilla aimed to show her support for the local charities and organisations that she is patron of, including the Wiltshire Bobby Van Trust, the Wiltshire Air Ambulance, and Community First Youth Action Wiltshire. It is clear that these causes are close to her heart, as she took the time to attend the event despite the challenging circumstances surrounding her husband's health. During the event, Queen Camilla took the opportunity to address concerns about King Charles' well-being. Speaking with Ben Abbott, a critical care paramedic with Wiltshire Air Ambulance, she revealed that the King is doing extremely well under the circumstances. She expressed her gratitude for the support and well wishes the King has received, stating that he is very touched by all the letters and the messages the public have been sending. Camilla's attendance at the event showcased her strong sense of duty and dedication to her role as a royal, even in the midst of personal challenges. Her choice of attire, a crisp white coat dress with black suede-heeled boots, demonstrated her elegance and resilience as she faced the wind and rain on her way into the cathedral. Upon arriving at the event, Queen Camilla was warmly received by the Lord Lieutenant and introduced to the Reverend Canon Anna Macham. She then had a reception meeting with local dignitaries and frontline staff from the charities, showing her continued commitment to these important causes. While this public appearance marks Queen Camilla's first since news of King Charles' cancer diagnosis, it is evident that she remains determined to carry out her duties and commitments with grace and strength.